Hello, I'm Walter, a UX specialist with installation and licensing. Today, we're going to talk about various aspects of deploying MathWorks software. First, I'll talk about the best way to get the installation files for deploying to other computers, offline or to many at once. I'll walk through how to do a non-interactive silent install to one or many machines. I'll talk about how to silently update existing MATLAB installations. I'll show you how to download hardware support packages and optional features for deploying to your installations. And finally, I'll walk through the interactive install of Network License Manager. With each segment, I will briefly describe why you might use each method and then how you go about it on the Windows machine. Okay, let's get started. All right, let's talk about getting the installation files. You may want to do this for a few reasons. To download files for an installation at a later date, to download and install to another computer, for example, offline, or to download in order to deploy to multiple computers. The best approach is to go through the MathWorks product installer. First, you'll need to go to mathworks.com and get the installer for the MATLAB release you need. Note, the procedure I'm about to show you is for the 20A release. Once you have the installer downloaded, double click to start. Click yes on the Windows UAC dialog that gives the installer permission to install. To download the files, you will need to sign in with your MathWorks account credentials, email, and password, and click Yes to agree, and Next to proceed. On the licensing screen, go to the Advanced Options menu in the upper right and select I want to download without installing. Select where you'd like the files downloaded to, the operating systems for the computers you plan to deploy to, select the products to download. Here, you can choose products across any of your licenses. Next, review your choices. To edit any of the selections, click on the link in the navigation bar at the top of the screen. When you're ready, click Begin Download. The required time of the download will depend on the number of products you selected and the speed of your connection. When the download is finished, click Close and go directly to the folder you selected for your files. This folder contains everything you need to do an install, including a copy of the installer. Copy this folder to a network share accessible to the computer you want to install the products on. From there, you can run the installer interactively by double-clicking setup.exe, or you can run the installer silently. Details on that coming next. Now let's talk about how to do a silent, non-interactive install. This will allow you to integrate your installation with your enterprise deployment software or to manage a large-scale deployment of your own. Note, you will need a file installation key for this procedure. You can get a file installation key from the License Center on MathWorks.com. Open your installer properties file using any text editor and enter the values for all the relevant parameters. For example, to specify where you want to install the products, set the value for the destination folder equal to the full path of the installation folder. When you're done, save the changes. From the command prompt, cd to the folder with the download files and hit enter. This silent workflow can be integrated with deployment software for getting it onto many machines at once. Now let's talk about how to update an installation already in place. It's important you apply the latest update to all your MathWorks software to ensure the very best results. From the downloads area of MathWorks.com, go to the appropriate release you want the update files for. Find and select the Get Update Packages for Offline Installation link on the left-hand side of the page. Select the OS you'd like to deploy the updates to. Wait for the package to download. The time required will vary based on the size of the update and your connection speed. Once you have the file, unzip it on the machine with the installation requiring an update. Then go to the command prompt. Change the folder to the MATLAB installation location, put in the path to the update installer, then put it in the location of the update package you wish to apply. Hit enter. Later, when you start MATLAB, you can type the ver command, V-E-R, to verify the update level. Now let's cover how to get the files for hardware support packages and optional features. Note that in this case, you will need to run this from the same OS as the target machine. Okay, let's get started. First, you go to the URL mathworks.com backslash support backslash install backslash support software downloader.html. Click on the OS for the computer you are currently on and note that it should match that of the target computer. When it is done downloading, click the EXE to run the application. Enter your email and password. Choose the MATLAB release you would like the hardware support packages and optional features for, and click Next. Select the packages you would like to get the files for. 
Note that you can filter the list via the text entry box in the upper right corner. Review your selections and click Next. Click I Accept to agree. Review any third-party software licenses that may be associated with the software you have selected and click Next to begin the download. Wait for the download to complete. The time required will vary based on the size of your selected software and your connection speed. Click Close to close the application and go to the Download folder. In that folder will be a README file that covers the details on how to install this download software silently. View the README file in the Download folder for instructions on how to install these packages. OK, now let's talk about how to install Network License Manager. Go and get the installer from the MathWorks website and start it. From any screen in the installer, you can click on the Advanced Options dropdown in the upper right corner and select I want to install Network License Manager. Click Yes to accept and then Next in order to proceed. Put in the full path to the location of your license file. Select where you would like License Manager to be installed. On Windows, you have the option to configure as a service, which will start License Manager automatically on the Windows startup. Keep the checkbox selected in order to choose this option. Review your choices and note that if you'd like to change any, you can click on the breadcrumbs at the top of the page to go back. The install should only take a moment. If you have any additional questions, please refer to our doc on the website or reach out to the support team. They'll be happy to help. If there was anything else you would have liked to have seen, let us know. Thanks.